of you, your mothers, you are the only the memories that they have is when you were causing problems in the pandemic. Causing problems and perhaps they have cursed you because of the problems that you were causing. For a change, do something that will cause them to bless you. Yes. I'm telling you, you need, I can bless you and speak nice words, praise God for that, but it's better if it's coming from your mom. I am talking of that old Magogo who is somewhere in the rural areas. That old Magogo is yeah, carrying your yeah, blessing. Yeah, yeah. Some of us, we are not progressing in Jobek. We are not going anywhere because some old Magogo somewhere is speaking some negative words. She's crying every day and because of those words, they will catch you. They will catch you in Jobek where others are prospering and buying cars when nothing is coming out of it because some old Magopo somewhere is speaking words that are stopping you from progressing. Yes. Hey, Magopo must speak well of you. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying, Saints? Yeah. Thank God for your tithes, but get some nice stuff for you, Magopo. Yeah. Yeah. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Get your Magopo somewhere to say, God bless you, Mdanam. We will show sure God bless you. Sometimes it means going to visit them. Sometimes it's buying them some nice things. And they will speak good words, positive words, constructive words. You need those words. You need them. Are we together, saints? So let's remember them. And let's remember them. In five minutes, let me give you, let's go back to our script. Let me just tell you about the sevenfold blessing of Abraham. Time is jealous. But we will speak the word of God. Sevenfold blessing of Abraham. We will go as far as we can. The number one is the blessing of ownership. Say with me, ownership. Now, the Bible says of Abraham, go to a land I will show you. So God says to Abraham, thank God you are in here in this land, but it's not really yours. You are in your father's house. It's not yours. God wants to bless Abraham with something of his own, something that he calls his name. Hey, can I speak to someone this morning? Someone, you need something, you need a certificate that calls your name. I feel like I have a birth certificate. Can I get a birth certificate? No, you need a registration certificate that calls your name. You have something that is yours. You need some title deed that says your name. And that's what God says to Abraham. Yes, you have the cattle, you have all these things. You are living in this land, but it's not yours. God wants to bless you with something that is your own. The blessing of Abraham is the blessing of ownership. Is the blessing of something that is your own. God wants to give you your own 